Welcome back to studio time, everybody. If you were with me the last two days, we talked about Children's Day and Kionobori fish, and we're making our own Kionobori fish here together during our studio time. On day one, we drew out the scales of our fish and our eyes. On day two, we used oil pastels or crayons or markers to outline all of our scales. And today we're gonna color in the inside of our scales. If you're at home, you can color in your scales with any material you like. Now we're gonna be coloring in the studio with um, watercolors today, with watercolor paints. If you have watercolors at home, that would be awesome. But if you don't, I would suggest using a different material for the inside of your scales than what you used to trace the outside. Side. You can use any material you like. For those of you in the classroom, we're going to be using our watercolor kits that come in our art boxes. So I'm going to show you guys how to use our watercolors. We're going to use our watercolor paints from our boxes today, for those of you who are in the classroom, to paint in our scales on our fish. I'm going to give each of you a jar of water and you should have a paintbrush. Oops. And each of you should have a paintbrush. So our watercolor kits, when you open them, are dry, but you're gonna need to add water to your watercolor in order to use them. So I'm gonna turn mine around here because I wanna use this nice red color here. And I'm gonna dip three times into my water to get my red paint nice and wet. And then I'm gonna stir really gently. I might put a little bit more water in there. I don't wanna stir very hard. I'm just gonna stir really gently to get my water started, or my watercolor started. Now I've got some nice wet watercolor paint that I can paint onto paper, okay? Now the next color I wanna use is orange, but I have lots of red paint in my brush, and if I dip my brush down into my orange paint, then I'm gonna get red mixed in with my orange, and I don't want that to happen. So I've gotta give my brush a bath in between using colors. So I'm done with my red. Now I'm ready to use orange. I'm gonna rinse off my brush and give it a little swirly bath in the water. Now my brush is nice and clean with nice, fresh, clear water, and I'm gonna get my orange watercolor all ready to go. So I've gotta dip three times into the water, and I'm gonna stir really gently on the surface. I don't wanna press down hard. And now I've got some orange paint that I can paint with. So the number one rule when doing watercolor is rinsing out your brush, giving it a good bath in between painting your colors. So let's go ahead and paint our scales. in person today we're going to want to pack up our box in a special way so that our watercolor painting can dry you already should have in your box your pastels and your pencil and your sharpie we'll leave that on the bottom you're also going to need to make sure that your lid is on your watercolors so they don't spill and we're going to put our watercolors down in there we probably want our watercolors to be flat so I'm going to make sure that's flat on the bottom and then I can put my pencil and my sharpie on top we're also going to make sure that we dry off our paintbrush. I'm gonna get all the paint out of it, dry it off pretty good on the edge here so it's not too drippy, and put our paintbrush in our box. And then the last thing that I'm gonna put in my box is my Kionobori fish painting. So I'm gonna set this in here very carefully. And then we're going to shut the lid so that it dries nicely in there while we're waiting for next class. All right, I hope you guys had fun doing your Kionobori fish scales today and we'll keep working on it tomorrow. See you later. Bye.